All right, guys, it is giveaway time yet again at Foot Trading, and it is another monster giveaway. We're giving away yet another Xbox Series S. Alternatively, if you don't like Xbox and you don't want to play Xbox, you can get £250 to put towards a PlayStation or whatever else it is that you wish to get. You've just got to subscribe to enter. What do you get for your money? For £10 a month, just £10, you get yourself access to Tier 1, which is buying and selling prices for our fodder flips, for our special cards, for our icons, and the weekly trading guide and club stock guide that are handwritten by me. Tier 2 gets you all of that, plus our live sniping filters and our fluctuations area. This live tracks the market 24 hours a day, allowing you to target your buys. And Tier 3 is £20 a month. It gives you everything on that website, but it also gives you access to our Discord bot that direct pings you with the deals that you can go out and buy. It literally says, there's a deal on the market, go and pick it up. It's an amazing, amazing tool. So yeah, get involved, give away Xbox Series S. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below, click that like button, and make sure you drop a comment on the video if you're enjoying the content, or if there's anything you guys want to see. Whatever you do, check out Foot Trading. Once again, this month, we are giving away an Xbox Series S, or alternatively, £250 in cash to put towards a PlayStation, if that is your choice. So not only will you be able to make millions of coins, not only will you be able to learn how to grind the game, you will also, also have the chance to win yourself an awesome new console. We ran it at Christmas um, for the giveaway there. We're doing it again now to give back to you guys. So check it out. But this is the start of a brand new series. So you guys will know that I started doing the trading account to give away. And basically, somehow, I got knocked out of my the account. I got locked out of it completely. And I don't know what happened, so that had to end. So we're going to run a couple of giveaways for website subscriptions at some point in the next week instead. Um, just because starting that from scratch again is going to take way too long. So we're going to do that instead. However, on my main account currently, I have got 5 million coins worth of investments there. So team of the weeks and whatever else. So I'm not touching that account at the moment. I'm letting those rise and hopefully make 2 to 3 million coins profit from it. So we're on my brother's account and I've started trading in the last sort of couple of days with the aim of getting to Lionel Messi. Um, we're currently sat at 222,000. I want to show you the things I've done so you guys can go and do the same things yourself if you want to. Um, and then basically you guys can follow me on this journey. Hopefully within the week we'll be able to go and get Messi. Now it's important that you guys understand something. I do not sit here all day, every day trading. I will teach you guys how to trade. I'll do a bit of trading myself and then I go and do other businesses, other bits that I've got to do. I own a football club now, so I've got to make sure I'm running that. There's a lot that I've got to do. So for me, I won't sit here for ages. And so everything that I do will be attainable to you guys. It will be attainable. So let's talk about some of the bits and bobs that we've done. And the first thing that I want to talk about you guys are these Lacazette investments. Um, they finally banked. We paid between eight and 900 coins. You would have seen that in the last video. Um, and the reason we bought these cards, British card is... We track on the website all the prices of fodder. And now I don't really care about 83, 84, 85 rated fodder. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. I care about this type of fodder because this year it is what is banged. EA keep bringing out SBCs. And especially right now, they're bringing out SBCs that require tokens um, or whatever else. And it means that cards like Lacazette, Font, um, Pavard, all these sort of decent cards. And we're talking about... Basically, gold common 79, 79, 80 plus rated, which are major nation from a different league than their nation is. So, for example, French in the Bundesliga, uh, French in the Premier League, they tend to bang. They tend to do really, really well. But what helped Lacazette even further, because he's up at about 1,500 coins right now, is the release of this David De Gea SBC. Absolutely good, really good value. Really, really good value for this card. 82 and an 83 rated with a team of the week is what De Gea um, is costing right now. And again, it provides that strong link into Varane. People are going to do him. So it was easy. So Lacazette boosted because of that. And it's about 14, 1,500 coins. So we've got very, very, very good um, profit from him. But the big, big, big investments that I made in terms of the long-term gains on this were in Bundesliga players. And we talked about this so many times. League SBCs are always hype. And the reason they're so hyped is because they provide you with packs. People that don't have money and don't want to spend money on, on the game or can't afford to will utilise your league SBCs to get packs to engage with promos. Um, and so I went out and I did what I've done with every single tea, uh, like league since it's left. Um, I Whenever the league SBC leaves, I go and mass invest in that league. So if you look at the Premier League, we bought a few from the Premier League. Um, if you look at the Bundesliga though, there we, are. we bought quite a lot from the Bundesliga. 
and the Bundesliga has now returned. So it left the game and that meant that the demand for the cards went down in value quite heavily. It then returned and the demand has spiked once again. And so all these cards that I've gone and bought and I paid 300 coins for him. So we'll have a little look, pay 300 coins for him. What's he costing right now? He's going for over a thousand. So we've more than tri tripled our coins on that, probably quadrupled. Uh, Stanisic again paid 300 coins for him. We're going to compare price on him. And again, he's about a thousand coins. Give us a thousand coins. So again, with that card there. So that is all these sort of cards that I basically spent next to nothing on. I'm about to make massive, massive profit on. And it's really not difficult to do. Because what's just happened now, the Serie A has just dropped off the game. Uh, we've lost the Libertadores. We've lost the Sudamericana. And we've lost the... I don't know what the other league is that we've lost. I can't remember the other league we've lost. Championship. We've lost Championship. So those cards now, it's time for them to, to, to completely dip off. So I'll go and get all these cards that I've bought. I'll go and sell these. And then again, I'll go and reinvest those elsewhere. Whilst having more coins, more coins to trade with. And for example, this is one of the cards that I bought quite a lot of. Or these cards here. Leipzig. Because Leipzig only have... They only have a keeper that is 85 rated. So for me, it was no brainer. So Schalner, for example, at the moment, is sat at what? 1,400 coins, I think, at the moment for him. And he's only going to go up in value the longer the FBC coat is, is out for. So I'll hold him for a little bit longer. But again, I've doubled my coins on him. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to get all these cards sold um, and do what I've got to do. Once we've done that, we're then going to go and buy into the other championship SPC or the Serie A SPC and re-put re -put those coins into somewhere else for massive profit on top of that. Um, so I'll see you soon. All right, and so just a quick update as I'm going. Uh, as you can see, we're at 313,000 coins now. I haven't got my glasses on, but it's all right. Um, the Lacazettes have all sold. We've done really well on the um, on some of the uh, Bundesliga stuff. It's been, it's been really, really solid. To the Premier League stuff there we don't care about, but like 1,200, 1,100 sort of really decent, decent profits of a lot of the Bundesliga stuff, and we've still got a ton to sell, an absolute ton. We might not sell all of it today, because some of it hasn't risen, but the ones that have really got up high, we are selling. But 313,000, so basically, I'm going to keep selling, get everything sold as much as I possibly can. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so most of the way through selling um, everything we want to sell for now, and we're at 445,000 coins. That right there is why it always pays to invest in League SPC cards, because look what has happened We've taken ourselves from that 220k to 445k. So we're now going to reinvest that elsewhere. So two things have happened. There was a really unnatural rise in Team of the Weeks just pr prior to 6pm. And I'm not sure why, but there was a really, really unnatural rise. And so what's actually happened is there was nothing really that came out. And is he still there? Like, I can probably pick up Team of the Weeks now at like 11k and maybe lower from the Premier League, which I think I'll pick up a few of those and reinvest those elsewhere um, relatively easily. And just wait basically for content to come out. That means I'm going to be happy with that. I think I'm going to reinvest also in the Championship and the... What league have we lost? The Syria. I think we're going to invest in those. Um, like we've just got a Rondon for 10,000, which is pretty easy. And at 10,750, no, we didn't get one. Um, I think we'll reinvest those there. And I'm also going to go and see what um, happens with some of these future star cards. Um, some of them are getting low. And there's like a Sven Botman, like I said, that's actually quite low as well. Um, he's 85 rated, he might get to discard price, so we'll see what happens there. I'll be right back once we've done some stuff. I'll see you then. Alright guys, so, um, we've only done multiple things. The first one, obviously, was to pick up the Premier League Team of the Weeks at basically discard price. These are a no-brainer, we make a profit for them later on. Like I said before, we're keeping hold of the Leipzig Keepers until they get up a bit further. But, the, there was an Indica card that came out, um, is it Indica, Indica? I can't remember the exact way to pronounce it, but he came out as part of this... Um, set of future stars. And people started selling Nia Karte off. Um, this guy here. I picked up a few 54, 53. Um, I've got another one that I think I picked up at 52. Um, and he's going back up again. Because I don't really know why people started panic selling him off. But he was 65 earlier today. Um, and he's now getting back up towards 60k again. So I'm hoping that overnight we'll get ourselves something like 63, 64 on him. Give or take. But it might be pushing that a little bit. I've also picked up an Insignia. You can't see him at the moment, but I will show you him. Um, but his Team of the Year nominee card is starting to rise now. Um, it's out of packs, so you can't really get hold of it. And I picked up a left wing hunter um, for 35k. I'm hoping I might get 45 for that overnight, which would be quite decent if we could. Uh, with the hunter on it, probably gives it that value to, to allow me to boost it up a little bit. We'll have a little look at what he's selling for with a hunter on him. Um, but again, chemistry style trading, it's always half decent to do. Um, yeah, possibly 45 tonight. Maybe a little less, 43 maybe. Uh, but for 35k, it's not bad. Um, outside of that, we've done our reinvesting, like I've said before, many one times. It always makes sense. 
Um, we've reinvested back into multiple places and you guys can go and do the same. So a couple of tips. Firstly, obviously, invest in the championship right now because it's at discard price. So silver not commons at 200 coins, silver rares are like 300, 350, bronze rares at 200, 250, you can't go wrong on. But also, the Libertadores cards left um, and you can do really well by buying silver rated. So silver rated between, that means 65 to 74. Um, silver rated Argentinian players tend to do well, but make more defenders. Uh, Colombians the same, uh, but defenders specifically. And then for specific teams like River Plate are very good. Um, Boca Juniors are quite good. Pick up cards from those and hold them until the Libertadores comes back. Um, conversely, the other step side of this, the, the Sudamericana. Um, again, if you want to invest in that, you can do really t relatively well by buying into the cards that are gold rated. Sebastian Souza is one that's done really, really well all, um, all, all throughout the times that SBCs are out. He's done really, really well as, as a card in terms of expense. Um, and he gets to 4 5k. So 1, 2, 1, 3 on him. People holding on to him in, in anticipation. We've gone and done that. So as you see, so far today we started for 220,000 coins. We sold the investments. We've now reinvested them again. Um, a lot of stuff will get sold off tonight. Some won't. Some will be held. But I'll see you in the morning, basically, with a catch-up of what we've done, where we're at. I'll see you then. All right, so good morning. I've just thrown the jumper back on, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same jumper, I just threw it back on for the recording. Um, but you can see we're at 246k, and it was a very, very good night. The Neocartes that we bought with a drop all sold very well. Botman, we picked him up at basically discard um, with a shadow on him. And sold 15, Gakpo, very similar. And the Insignia we bought sold. And as you can see, these Leipzig keepers have snuck up slowly but surely. And they're starting to climb. They were always going to be a great buy because they're only, they're literally the only um, um, keepers they've got are either a Galaxy, which is expensive, or these silver guys. So it's really, really simple. On top of that, we bought the Pedro Poros. Now, 27,250 was the cheapest we bought. Most of them about 30k. Now, with an anchor, he's selling for like 37 at the moment. So I'm hoping we will slowly but surely sell those ones to profit as well. If you have a little look. The anchor at the moment, cheapest there is 36, which is what I've got mine listed for as a right back. So right wing backs, right backs, whatever it is, they should sell in and around that um, to get them sold. So as you know, yesterday we started with 220k, but we've now got 246k. We've got essentially, give or take, about near, near on, near on 180,000 coins in Poros. We've got another, what, 100,000 coins in Rondons. We've still got these guys to sell. We've reinvested again into the championship at the moment. Um, so we're in a really, really strong position. We've, we've made a lot of coins very, very quickly. We've even bought some Libertadores cards for when that SBC comes back too. So, all in all, I think we've up about 250, 300,000 coins. I'm planning now to get everything sold, ready for the next episode, where we can just go ham on some special card trading and see what we can trade with at 6pm. Obviously, hold on to these uh, team of the weeks for some decent content. That is the aim. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Check out Foot Trading for your chance to win an Xbox Series S and make millions of coins like I do weekly. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, like, comment, all that awesome stuff. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.